the flight on that. Great sound, great feel. Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We've got a big driver head-to-head -head comparison video for you today, and it's tailor-made, and we're gonna put the new SIM 2 driver up against the driver it's replaced was last year's SIM. So obviously, we're gonna see if there's any differences with that new one. There's some new technology that they've introduced. The name's just changed ever so slightly, but there's a lot more going on in the head. So obviously, we're gonna have a little chat about that. I have done a review video of this SIM 2 a bit more in-depth detail of the tech which you can go and check that out but really we're going to sort of focus today on the performance differences and maybe my personal feedback of the looks and the feel of these two clubs okay so just before we jump into the video if you're enjoying the content and putting out there lots of product reviews coming this month then do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And when you do hit that subscribe button, make sure you ring the bell at the same time. Then as soon as the video arrives on the channel, you'll get a notification and you'll be one of the very first ones to watch it so you will not miss a thing. Okay, so we're gonna start off with last year's SIM. So really good product from TaylorMade as we always uh, tend to sort of see them deliver a really good product. So the real big talking point that they introduced, which is where the name came from, SIM, is shape in motion. So this inertia generators they call it there is positioned so uh, about approximately 20 degrees before impact it's creating the fastest possible speeds obviously increase uh, club head speed so the sim had that adjustable weight in that front section we've got that now fixed we've got a nine degree head and we've got a tensai uh, blue in an x flex which we're going to keep that same shaft into the new version as well so we've got the same shaft in this comparison Okay, that's not a bad opening shot. A little bit left to right shape on that, but felt very solid. Looks a, solid, looks a good penetrating ball flight. So I was always a big fan of the uh, sim in terms of the way it looks. I think that grey carbon top section looks looks really great in that playing position. And the sound of it, I was always a real big fan of. You know, it's that solid muted sort of sound. Again, solid strike, just working a little bit up that right hand side. Oh, that's a good strike. Just feel that slightly higher, slightly in that toe section. We always know that's a juicy part to hit that golf club until you can see that spin gets pulled down 17, or just short of 1800 on that spin, get a little bit more carry, but I've got that launch. That's a big thing for me for optimizing my numbers. If I can get that launch up in that 12 area, I tend to sometimes get some launches a little bit lower around that sort of nine degree area. So if I can get that launch up, then that's when I can open up a, you know, maybe that sort of extra 10 yards carry. Oh, that's a good shot as well. Really good flight on that. Great sound, great feel. Yeah, there we go. There's that 12 launch mark again and a good controlled spin. There's a little bit of left to right shape back into that one, maybe touching that heel, but again, felt really quite solid. Okay, so there's five shots hit with the, the SIM. So we're gonna move into the new SIM 2 driver. Right, okay, so SIM 2, little bit different uh, technology going on here from what they've done with the SIM. When we put it into that playing position, I think the shape of the head, it, it probably just looks a little bit more rounded there, first impressions, but obviously the colour's changed, gone to a darker grey on that top now. Again, you still see that carbon, we've got that blue trim in there, and we've also got that slight, um, maybe what I call maybe like an arctic white, just a slightly off-white section around that front. Again, it's a great looking club. It does look good down by that golf ball. So talking a little bit about the new technology that Telemed are introducing into the SIM 2 is this new forged ring construction. So this blue aluminium, which is milled, it's high strength aluminium, obviously lightweight there. So they're producing some weight at the back, even when I say it's lightweight, because now the sole is fully carbon. There's no titanium section there. It's a full carbon sole. So obviously they're saving a lot of weight there. Then they've got the aluminium ring at the back. So it's creating um, higher ball speed, creating more forgiveness and, and different weight in position. So we've got this, again, inertia generator, which is shape in motion, the word SIM, 16 gram weight in that back section. We've got a fixed screw in the front there so there's no adjustability with a weight now in the new one okay so again nine degree head exact same shaft that we've just hit okay 
That was a little bit low in the face. I expect that spin to be high. That ball speed's good there. 164. See, so that's where I launched that one a little bit low. Yeah, spin's got up high. So that was a little bit low in that club face there. So it wasn't the perfect to strikes, but the feel of that was really good. It felt, what's the word? It, it, it felt a little bit more responsive, not quite as dull. I think maybe sometimes when you think about this sound, and I quite like the sound of that sim, but sometimes a dull sound can feel like a dead, like a dead feeling in the golf club. That felt like a little bit more responsive there. It felt like it just a bit more springy off the club face, if that makes sense. That's a better shot. Better strike, a little bit high up that club face. You'll see that launch just get up a little bit more. Yeah, around the 11 degree mark. Good ball speed again, 165. That's really good. Nice and straight as well, which is always good. I think that's the other important aspect to look, isn't it? You know, I think distance numbers, I don't think we're going to see obviously a massive jump of ball speed here, massive jump of distance as we see with a lot of the brands now from year to year. But maybe this forgiveness, which is a bit of a story for 2021 with a lot of the brands, they're all really sort of working around forgiveness of the golf club. The straighter hitting, more stable. Uh, first two were very straight. Again, it's a such, I think that's a much better feel, much better sound there. It's not quite as dull as dead sort of sound. And that one wasn't a perfect to strike. That was a little bit in that heel side, but again, ball speed's really good, 165. Looks like that ball speed jump a little bit there. That's lovely. That is really nice. Really enjoying hitting that. It's a little bit increase in club head speed there as well. Okay, let's hit one more shot with the Sim 2. Oh, lovely. That is really good. Very, very consistent, the way that ball's come out. And I have just hit, obviously the first one was a little bit low in the face. There was a slight heel strike in there as well. But that was really, that's on the longest one there. 166 ball speed, really good. Okay, so big difference for me. I think the looks isn't huge a huge difference. Obviously there's a difference of color in that playing position. When you turn the club around, it, obviously it's a bit more wacky. And I did mention my review video, I wasn't a huge fan of what it looks like on the bottom, but at the end of the day, that really for me isn't, isn't massively important. It's the playing position, which I like the look of, and then how does it feel, how does it sound, how does it perform? I think the sound and the feel is much, much more improved than the original sim for sure. Let's go and check a few numbers out. Okay, so I think an important one there, isn't it? And I appreciate there's only five shots hit with each. You could, obviously, if you're gonna go into a, a fitting process or a trialing of these golf clubs, you're gonna be hitting more shots than what I've done there. But this, gives you a little bit of an inkling there of maybe what to sort of expect. And a big difference there of dispersion, much more consistent how that ball comes out. And there was a couple of different strikes mixed in with that Sim 2 sh shots as well. So on the dispersion side of things, definitely winning. Okay, then when we look at the numbers there, you can see 112.3, 112.6. So club head speed was actually identical there between those two batches, but there's a big difference of ball speed, wasn't there? And I sort of felt like it did feel quite explosive off that club face. Uh, 165.3 against 161.9. So good jump of ball speed from the very similar club head speed. That's a significant jump. It's just a couple of those slightly lower strikes, which I do tend to sort of get a little bit in, in, in my um, sort of shots, but spin to 2,600 against two and a half on average with the sims, so the spin in a very, very similar sort of, sort of area. I think obviously I can optimize if I get my launch in and around that sort of 10 mark and that spin, maybe that two and a half, maybe even like to that two, so as you see that can max my carry out a little bit more. Obviously that's my delivery and tip, but smash factor 1.47, so really, efficient there up against that 144 with the sim um, so yeah really good performance numbers there right interesting results there from the new sim 2 against the last year's sim so for me it's winning i think the looks as i mentioned very very similar i quite like the darker finish but then again i quite like that light gray that that didn't really sort of uh, change wouldn't influence my buying process anyway obviously looking at the, the feel of the golf club and i said it straight away when i hit that first shot even though it was a little bit off that bottom it feels much better it's it feels a bit more explosive but it's a really good sound not quite as dull or as dead sometimes we associate those dull sounds with and um, so for me a better sounding golf club which is again feel and number wise yeah there's a difference there isn't there there's quite a bit of a difference of that ball speed you know from a very similar club head speed there's a jump of ball speed and again i hit that low strike i hit that one slightly in that heel obviously some good strikes as well and the numbers there are backing that up so yes hats off to tailormade i think that is a really good product and i can see a difference there between that against the previous model so post comments down below let me know your thoughts sim 2 lineup for 2021 is that something that's going to be 
out for you to go and try this year. I'd love to hear your thoughts as always. If you have a sim at the moment, would you now consider going and testing it? And I would always um, suggest and recommend that you do put them up head to head like I've done there on a launch monitor with a fitter and make sure you get that club dialed in. There's obviously a lot of adjustment, adjustability in that neck sleeve, different shafts. And obviously we've got the different heads as well, Sim 2 and Sim 2 Max as well also. Okay. Thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you watching the video as always. If you haven't subscribed, just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. We're trying to grow this channel as much as we possibly can. Loads more golf content coming your way. So do hit that subscribe button if you can, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.